What's up, fam? Welcome back to the channel. This your boy J. Reed for J. Reed's Love, of course. So, as you may can see, I'm sitting out here in the Fox body. By the bing, by the bam. Got to do a little bit of work. Now, what I'm going to do about that? Probably take some glue. Glue that shit back up. But I also got some little stuff, for some little doodads over there that I want to tell y'all about. So, first of all, I'm going to go ahead and tell you the, the main reason for this video. I've decided I'm going to keep the Fox body. I was debating on whether or, not, whether or not I wanted to keep it and just get a daily driver and just focus on the vet for racing, but I think I'm going to keep the Fox body. It seems like every time I get in it and hear it and listen to it and run it, I enjoy driving. It's just a fun old, uh, it's just a fun old old car. That's the easiest way to put it. So I'm going to keep it. So one of the things that I need to do right now is my rearview mirror my rearview mirror fell and when it fell it broke so i bought another one i already mounted the little base place up there it's been up there for a while now so now it should be good to go to mount my new o'reilly's mirror and i hope it worked so we're gonna mount that up here because i hate not having a mirror back there to see what i'm doing when i'm driving it's just too much a hassle and these side mirrors you know they they're kind of trash they're just kind of trash so i bought these to kind of help with that but i need something to open this package with because i don't see it I don't see nothing in the car so let me get something to open that with okay so we got the new mirror open and really it's almost identical to the one that i had this is the old one this is the new one so that tells me that the mirror that was in here when i bought the car was not factory <laughs> now i need to get this shit out so i can put in so i can slide it on that one guess i need to look at the instructions because i clearly don't know what i'm doing and i clearly can't do it with one hand so let me find something to pop that open with. Oops, okay so we got the new mirror up just tightening it up to the mount. I almost broke that bitch on the first. Before I got it up here good. But I didn't. And we got it on here. Yay. Yay for me. I don't even know what that do. I guess it keeps it from moving. There we go. Yeah, buddy. Okay, yes. We got the new mirror mounted. Let's just hope it stays because this Texas heat will mess up a mirror for sure. I don't know why, but for someone not to drive a car, this car gets awfully dirty, awfully quick. I just don't understand it. So you're probably wondering what's in this box. I know you're wondering that. I know you are. I probably shouldn't even be showing this today because I'm still missing some of the parts. All of this, this is some, some exciting content. I don't know why I don't get that many views. Yes, folks, you guessed it. It is a new eBay steering wheel. Yay! Oh, that feels amazing. New eBay steering wheel. That actually feels pretty good. Most definitely, actually. Actually, most definitely. Most definitely, actually. So you're probably wondering why did he buy another steering wheel and he just bought a steering wheel about six months ago a perfectly good grant steering wheel well the main reason i did it was because the main reason i did it was because i wanted to like a, i wanted like a quick release steering wheel and in order to do that but i wanted a to go the cheap route so i bought a cheap ebay steering wheel which is actually feels pretty good it does it feels pretty good huh interesting feels in fact this cheap steering wheel feels way better than this green it's cheap too but it wasn't this damn cheap i think i paid like 30 bucks for it and it's actually pretty good now i'm sure this this metal is probably made out of piss and water but 
it's going to get the job done. The only thing I'm concerned with, when you put on these aftermarket hubs and all of that crap, it brings the steering wheel out. It shouldn't matter too much because it is a quick release. I don't even have to have the steering. I won't even have the steering wheel on the car until I get in the car. So it may even be better. So we got that. And then over here, we got the quick release setup. So this is the quick release. Hoo, 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 hoo. Don't want to lose no screws out of this. Well, actually, it's not that... The pictures made it look worse. This is this is actually doesn't go out that far. I don't even know how it works. I guess you do that. I guess you do that and it pops off. I'm already having issues trying to get this thing on here all the way. I know I'm probably doing something wrong and I need both hands. So we're not going to spend too much time with it. So anyway, the main thing is I hope is that these screws line up with this. If they don't, then we got a whole nother set of issues. I'm guessing it will though. Yes, they line up. So that is what this will look like. Plus, so I'm thinking it'll probably be about this close actually, once I put the other hub on. So it's gonna be in my belly, that's for sure, but it's all good because I can quick release it. So I'm going to get this installed on this weekend. The hub is due here on Saturday. Hopefully, if it's not raining, I'll put it on. And we can get that on and popping. I need to figure out how to get this back on all the way. It's greased up. And I need to figure out, too, like, how do I make it so it, it always be lined up? I ain't never had any one of these before. It feels good. It feels like it's going to do well. So we will just have to see how that works. So anyway, I know this is not really an exciting video, but I said I'm going to start keeping y'all abreast of pretty much most of the stuff that I do to these cars, even if it's not exciting. Somebody somewhere may need to see it or want to see it. Most people probably don't. I don't get that many views on Fox Body content for some reason, but that's neither here nor there. I'm going to do it anyway. Um, so anyway, so we got the steering wheel. That's going to go on this weekend. I already have the tools from the last time to take it off. Should be fairly easy. For sure. It was pretty easy to get this one on. So it should be pretty easy to put this one on and hook it up. I don't have to worry about the horn because I got my horn button down there. So that's easy. And we're just going to keep it moving. I decided, like I said earlier, I decided I'm going to keep the Fox body. Try to keep making it faster few things I want to upgrade like number one that bottle bracket I want to upgrade that to like a billet bracket or maybe even a stand-up bracket because I got plenty of line it's kind of too much line anyway I'm gonna do some more upgrades to it to get it ready fix the inside up a little bit maybe do the whole delete thing in the back and um, the aluminum door panels just to try to make it a little bit better and keep working on it and fixing it up i need to get some subframe uh connectors too and one other thing i was thinking about doing that may be coming coming pretty soon i kind of want i don't even know if it's going to benefit me y'all tell me in the comments but i want forward facing headers they just look so good so i think i'm going to find me some uh i think i'm going to get a pair of flowtech turbo headers stick them on them car and run them out the bottom in front of the tires what do y'all think about that i can take it to the shop and get the v-bands welded up well the lip or whatever you call the lip that the v-band goes around get that welded up to the pipe once i make sure that it's going to work the way i want it to and have some forward facing headers the car is already loud it's probably going to be even that much louder now will i leave, lose torque i don't know probably so I'm not sure if it's going to matter because I'm going to be spraying it on nitrous. So whatever I lose in torque, I'll make up when I spray. At least that's my thought process. Right now, I'm not spraying on the hit. I'm spraying at about 2,000. The next time I go to the track, I'm going to keep going down and down. I think I got to set for the nitrous to come on at 1,800. I had, you know, everybody would tell you, don't bring the nitrous in at 3,000. Well, screw 3,000. I wanted that to hit. 
and I've done it once and the tires spun. It's, they spun bad. I was uh, hitting a rev limiter and nitrous just spraying and all I did. I don't even think I got a, got any backfires. So we're going to keep sending it and keep risking it. Risking it? What the hell? Risking it. Anyway, I, don't, I feel like I'm rambling. Let me know in the comment what y'all think about them forward facing headers because that's kind of what I want to do. It's just so badass. Anyway, this your boy Jay Reed for Jay Reed's Love, of course. Like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Peace.